place your main piece right side up and then you're going to place the piece that you've just folded the fold sides down and the raw edges are going to line up with the top raw edges on your other piece that's important because if you have it backwards you're going to have to tear it all out so this is what it'll look like so you can see those edges are almost perfectly lined up you could pin it here if you wanted but we are going to place our cuff piece right side down on top of it and line up the edges and so if you're really careful you can get away with pinning so it I've once. made kind of a sandwich with my bottom main piece my trim piece and then my cuff piece so the right sides are together this is the folded edge down and you can see it's lined up really well you can't see anything sticking out so now I'm going to put a few pins in to help hold it okay I put my pins vertic or horizontally and if you turn it over I can see where it's come through on all of them and I can also look and see that everything's lined up and that this trim piece didn't um, slip down because if it slips down you're not going to catch it when you sew so the next part is we are going to put it in our sewing machine and keep the edge of your presser foot lined up with the edge of the fabric and sew at about 2.5 which is the default on your sewing machine now as you can see those pins are in the way so once you get your sewing machine going go ahead and pull that first set of pins out and then sew a nice straight line don't worry about sewing too fast and as you come to the pins obviously you're gonna have to pull them out and if you put them in the right direction it'll be easy because when you get close you can just stop your machine and remove that thread pin when you're finished you can see that you when you open it up if you've done it correctly it's even this trim piece is even all the way across and so we can go over and do a quick little press actually let's not 